Okay, a couple of weeks ago I installed the uh, Debian 5.03 Lenny, the stable version of Debian, because I was having increasing problems with first uh, Ubuntu 9.04 and then Linux Mint 7 or Linux Mint Gloria. Problems with uh, instability. So uh, I tried out the latest beta of Ubuntu 9.10. But rather than installing on my main partition, I did it on a um, Windows partition, just to see how things would work. Uh, and I'm going to show you what happened. And as this thing shuts down or resets, actually, um, I installed it on the Wubi partition, uh, Windows partition. Uh, problem I had was freezing. Uh, system would freeze and could not uh, start it again. I could not. Uh, go back to the um, prompt, login prompt, or restart X, I had to do a cold boot. I had to actually turn my machine off and turn it back on. And I tried this several times to see what was wrong. I uninstalled Compares to see if that was a problem, but none of those things worked. So I had to uninstall Windows from Windows. I mean, excuse me, I had to uninstall Linux from my Windows XP system. It's supposed to be as easy as uninstalling a any other Windows program. But here's the problem that I had. You see here I have my Debian. I finally did a clean install of Debian, got rid of Linux Mint and uh, and all and I have I'm running Debian uh Linux GNOME desktop. Anyway right here where it says uh, Microsoft XP Professional I click this and I go to this this is an artifact from Grub2 installing I, it works if I were to press enter here my XP would work but here I have Ubuntu now since I uninstalled it it was supposed to get rid of this but it doesn't but if I click this or press enter If you can see that, here's what I get. Okay, let's let's do that again. Windows XP Professional and Ubuntu. If I go down to Ubuntu and press enter, it grinds a little bit and I get this message. Windows could not start because the following file is missing is a missing or corrupt. Reinstall a copy of the above. Okay. Uh, did Ubuntu do this? I don't know. Let's go directly and see if my windows will load. Okay, okay, so I have an older computer, so what? It takes a little while to load up. But the point is, it's working. The Windows is, is working, but there's a problem with. Well, that's a bit longer uh, boot than I'm used to, but I'm not going to blame that on Ubuntu. So here's my my uh, Windows desktop. Uh, I run Windows on a 10 mega 10 gigabyte partition. 
one day soon I'll get rid of it completely. So let's shut down Windows here. Go to my Dell, my uh, Debian, and boot it up. Uh, when I install the Debian after the Ubuntu, uh, it it uses Grub One. Debian prompt. And I'm back to my Debian desktop. Uh, one thing about Debian that I it's only been a couple of weeks, but I have not had a single freeze up. I've not had to do any uh, rebooting. Uh, Firefox hasn't crashed. It's an older version, 3.0 something, and running uh, Adobe Flash. I've had multiple tabs with YouTube videos, uh, Facebook, Blog Talk Radio. Never had it crashed. Uh, memory did go up uh, to over 200 megabytes but the system slowed somewhat but it never froze it always recovered uh, open office has never crashed uh, I used to run into a problem where I paste the contents of a word of a of a web page into open office and it would crash uh, hadn't had that problem now I'm using the latest PPA or the latest backported version of Office so I'm running 3.11 here in Debian Lenny so uh, it's not an open office problem it's, it's just Debian is a smooth and reliable operating system uh, the point about the Wubi installation is that Wubi is presented as a simple safe way of introducing people to Ubuntu Linux but if they decide for whatever reason they don't want it, they don't like it, and they try to uninstall it, they end up with uh, artifacts left on their hard drive, their boot partition, their boot record. And for me, I understood somewhat what was going on. I, I wish it had uninstalled Grub, but everything seems to work anyway. So the next time I decide to do a reinstall when the next stable version of Debian comes up, I'll take care of that. But that's all for now. Thank you.